Now, here we go with our second and final round in this game. Two to nothing in favor of the current champ and challenger. Please make a selection. I'll go with A again. A is what he wants, and A is what he gets. I didn't ask anybody the first round, so that means everyone participates. Okay. Gloria is an unusual tap dancer. Instead of putting taps on her shoes, she puts them on her blank. <laughs> is an unusual tap dancer. Instead of putting taps on her shoes, she puts them on her... Hands. On her hands. Half the audience thinks it's a good answer and half thinks it's a rotten answer. We'll find out how good or bad it is right now as we are celebrities reveal theirs. Bill, he says hands. Well, Gloria was educated in a convent. She puts them on her knees. On her knees. Yes. Yeah. Short act. That's a short act. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Very difficult to I must say. Brett, where did she put them? You think his is a rotten answer. Wait until you hear my cheeks. <laughs> Okay, no further explanations will be necessary or requested. Charles? It was an unusual act, and Variety even called it a bust, and that's just where she had it. She had it right there. Okay, what do you say? <gasps> Is that what you say? No, I said that she attached the taps to her bare feet. On her bare feet? Instead of putting the taps on her shoes, she put them on her bare feet. Terrible, You've got to match the two remaining celebrities to stay in the game, Bill, and achieve a tie. Let's see what you have, Richard. Oh, you wouldn't want me to show you that. Yes, I want to show feet. <laughs> on her feet. He said, and so Marjorie Grant wins another game. Pleasure meeting you, and uh, we've enjoyed having you here at Match Game 74. Good luck to Bill Gordine. Okay, Marjorie, you've uh, been here before, you know how it goes, so we ought to get right to it, right? Yeah. Okay. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this Blank Cleaver. Scared me there for a second. Because all I could see was C-L-E-A-V, and I had to look around to C-E-R here. But it says blank cleaver there. Huh? Now, the answer uh, they gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match that one. If you match the next one, it's 250 If you match the bottom one, it's 100 Which three celebrities would you like to get a little help from? Well, I'm going to start off with Richard first. You want Richard yeah, first? Something Jack the Ripper used. One meat. Let's try Brett. Let's try Brett, she says. Uh, what? Uh, blank <laughs> Brett Cleaver. I mean, there's nothing else besides meat cleaver, is there? Yeah. Oh, except Eldridge Cleaver, I suppose. Is that a person? Yeah, you can say that. Okay, you can Eldridge. Your Eldridge, Eldridge Cleaver, all right. Rod, Rod, or whatever his name is. Eldridge. Yeah. I'm Bill Cunt. I had meat and Eldridge, and I have no more cleavers beyond that. <laughs> Okay, so uh, you've got two there. Eldridge and Meat, you may choose one of those or think up one of your own. Can you think of one that you want to use more than those? I would have to go with Meat. Meat Cleaver is what you want. All right, that's what you're going to do. We'll find out if it's up there first. May we see the $100 response? Eldridge Cleaver is up there, the one that Brett thought of. Okay, we're still looking for a Meat Cleaver. Here is the $250 response. Would you like to explain that, Beaver? Oh, is that his name? Oh, for I never knew his last name. Leave it to Beaver. Yeah. Now his name is Beaver. No one ever said Mr. Cleaver. Okay. Still looking for Meat Cleaver. Here is the $500 response. Meat Cleaver.
Okay, why not? All right, you've got the $500. That means you are now again playing for ten times that amount, or... Bing. $5,000. Love your timing, Brad. <laughs> to collect the $5,000, you must match one celebrity, head-to-head, -head, has to be exact. Which one will it be? It's got to be that head. <laughs> that head there with the mustache. Hello, head. All right. Richard, you get ready to write. You will face me. If you would please, Marjorie, here is the $5,000 question. Write your answer to this. Bed of blank. Bed of blank. Bed of blank. All right, he's finished. Now, Marjorie, for $5,000, you uh, give us an answer you think will match Richard Dawson's answer. Bed of... Rock? You're awing her, aren't you? You don't like her answer. Well, we don't know. Never know here until the answer is revealed. Richard, for $5,000, she said, bed of rock. May we see your answer? I'm thinking of roses. You what? What were you thinking of? Roses, if it's roses. Were you thinking of roses? I was Marjorie, if you were thinking of roses, why did you say rock? Well, roses sounded too good. <laughs> Oh, 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 bed of roses. Okay, well, I'm sorry well, about you're that. Dealing with your and was always correct, go for the but, uh, your timing was a little bit off there. Listen, Marjorie is still the champ. You're up to $700. You're going to meet another player right after we pass along this message of interest to you.